Hello, ketchup children, and welcome back to this, my kitchen. I'm Emily Duncan. There are many Emily Duncans in the world, but I'm one. As you can see, we have a special guest in the kitchen today, and that is Blender. Blender's here today. So today, I'm going to be making you uh, a pina colada. I'm going to show you how I make a pina colada. Emily, why are you making a pina colada? Here's the thing. When I went on the internet seeking a pina colada recipe, I did not find one that I found to be satisfactory. They were either too sweet, they had too many ingredients where I felt like I had to go shopping, they had math involved, and, and so I thought I would just uh, show you my recipe. This is what I figured out based on kind of taking an average out of all of the different pina colada recipes that I could find, um, and this tastes really good. I've done it a couple times, I can confirm. It tastes good. So I figured I would share. Because what is it if not the season of giving? August. So ingredients wise, here's what I have. I have a lime, some frozen pineapple chunks, a uh, black spiced rum, I have rapidly melting ice, and I have this, which is actually Coco Lopez, uh, which is like a sweetened cream of coconut. And then I have regular unsweetened coconut milk. Uh, this is the canned kind, that's what I like. Uh, I'm sure you could get it from a box and it would be fine, but like the kind that you put in your coffee is gonna be kind of thinner and you really want the thick canned coconut milk, you know? As I'm standing here, I'm realizing I never use a measuring cup. It's not really for anything. I'm gonna just put it to the side, you don't need it. Forget this thing. All right, so we have our blender, um, and here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open it up, and I need 10 pieces of ice, 10 ice cubes, 10 ice cubes. <laughs> and my handy assistant, Dan, is getting me additional ice cubes. One, two, Baby. All right, so half a pound of frozen pineapple or half a bag. And then we're gonna do, so basically what I do is I get a can of coconut milk. I stir it up so that it's all mixed. Don't forget to do that if you're new to this. Uh, and then I put half the can in. I just eyeball it, half the can. Uh, and so I know that the other half is also half the can. So I'm just gonna pour that sucker in there. Oh, it smells good already, honestly. Like a beach. Like a nice beach. <laughs> uh, and then this is the Coco Lopez. Now, um, a lot of recipes have quite a bit of this. I do like a third of a can, so I'm gonna do half of what's in here because I know that I took a third out because I'm great at math. This is so much easier for me than if you tell me eight ounces because, you know, a shot glass is 1.48 ounces in the United States. What are you gonna do with that? Anyway, so I just eyeball it. Um, but it's easy and it works. All right, so that's about half of it. So that's a third of a can of Coco Lopez. And this keeps it from being too sweet. If you like it more sweet, I would go one-to-one -one Coco Lopez to uh, coconut cream, or you could even do a little more Coco Lopez and a little less coconut milk. You get the idea. Adjust to taste. Two, three. All right, so four shots of rum. Uh, just enough for two people to have a party or four people to have a very normal night. Um, and then I'm going to do half of a lime of juice. Half a lime, and then give it a squeeze. I have tried doing more lime, and I actually, like it seems when you taste it, you're like, could it use a little more lime? But if you toss any more lime in, it becomes too limey, it's weird. I don't know what to tell you, but this is the right amount, half a lime. Unless you got little limes like key limes, in which case maybe a whole, I don't know. All right, half a lime. And that's it, we're ready to blend, baby. All right, so I'm gonna put my lid on. Don't forget to put the lid on. Very important, classic Top Chef mistake. I like to do like a low, a low oh, I have to turn it on first, that might help. All right, and I am back. My pina colada has been blended. I should note that if you like it a little thicker, you can add a little more ice. Some people do as much as three to one iced pineapple, but I like it kind of soupy and drinkable. 
So the last thing we're gonna do is just pour this into our fanciest glasses. I recommend you do the same. One and two. Garnish with a slice of lime and cheers. Dan, do you wanna come try one? That's, That's good. good. Yeah. It's like a milkshake of pineapple, coconut, and rum. Yeah, tubular. <laughs> totally tubular, dudes. And there you have it. The perfect okay. pina colada. I love this pina colada. I'm sure you will too. Let me know if you don't. Unless you don't drink, in which case, thanks for hanging around. Uh, anyway, have a great rest of your day. I hope that you're well. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and I will be back very soon with more content. Uh, and I love you. So you may have seen, if you are a subscriber to this YouTube channel, a poll recently. A poll that asked what kind of content you'd like to see from me. And I included cocktail mixing on that poll, and almost no one voted for it. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Emily, you just made a cocktail. What was the poll for? And you know what? I already had this one planned, so, you know, deal with it. Uh, I'll be back with more content of whatever I feel like very soon. Thanks for being around. Take care. Bye-bye. Be safe. Cheers. Rad. Stay groovy.